What is up guys, welcome to today's prediction video. For this one, we will be looking at the UEFA Champions League clash taking place on the 7th of November between Borussia Dortmund and Newcastle United. Now the last time these two sides met was on the 25th of October in the Champions League, but only this time in England at Newcastle's home ground. The match was fairly even between the two as would have been expected, but eventually the deadlock was broken in the 45th minute, courtesy of Nemicha. The ball is cut back across the Newcastle goalpost and he manages to get a side foot just on the outside of the D and blasts it past the goalkeeper. And that's how the match ends, 1-0 to Borussia Dortmund, managing to get all three points in England. We start off our team analysis with Borussia Dortmund. It is three wins, one draw, and a single loss for them in their last five matches. However, their last match was in fact that loss. A 4-0 demolition at home against Bayern Munich. Dortmund kind of tried to be part of the game, but Bayern were just way too good on all fronts. Players I want to highlight for Dortmund, I want to start off with Marco Rius. It's three goals and an assist for him so far this season. Um, Marco Rius is getting along with age, unfortunately, and one of these days we're going to see him retire, but so far so good for Marco Rius. He's managed to still be a very, very crucial player in a Dortmund squad that is looking a little jaded this season. But most importantly, Rius has to be applauded for his commitment and his loyalty to the club. Whereas he's seen multiple teammates leave, he chose to stay. Next up, I want to talk Malen. Now, Malen was brought in to get goals for Dortmund during a period last season, I think it was, or the season before that, um, where Dortmund was struggling with attacking players. And he's been okay so far. It's three goals for him this season, but I still think he needs to do a lot more. Um, he's got some big shoes to fill. I mean, the likes of guys like Erling Haaland and Robert Lewandowski. So he's got a lot of work to still do. And finally, I want to talk Julian Brandt. Now, Brandt is Dortmund's number 10. Um, he is supposed to be the central playmaker through which all of the good stuff happens at Dortmund. And it shows he's leading both the goal and the assist charts for Dortmund with four goals and four assists. He's going to be pivotal in creating all sorts of opportunities for Dortmund on the night. Next up, I want to talk Newcastle. Now, they have an identical record to their rivals for the night with three wins, a draw and a loss. However, their last match ended in a 1-0 victory against Arsenal. It was a match that I think they would all say that they had to fight very, very hard for, but it did end kind of, I would say, contentiously. There's a lot of debate around whether Newcastle's goal should have stood or not. Um, but at the end of the day, the result was in their favour and that's all that matters. Players I want to highlight for them. Firstly is Callum Wilson being their top goal scorer at the moment with seven goals. Um, he's going to be hounding and harassing their Dortmund defence from all over the show. Next I want to talk Joe Linton. Um, he's got three assists so far for Newcastle. Um, Joe Linton's role in midfield is now going to be even more important because Tonali will not be able to feature for Newcastle. Um, which is very, very sad due to a betting scandal. Um, but he's got some very, very good chemistry with his um, midfield partner and also his um, fellow Brazilian in Bruno Gumares. But I think Joe Linton gives just a little bit more going forward as well. Um, and that's that's how you see those assists there. And finally, I want to talk Lascelles. Now, Lascelles is going to be super important for Newcastle at the back. Um, it'll be his job to shut Dortmund out. He did a fantastic job against Arsenal. He did very, very well against PSG, so he set some very, very high expectations for himself. Finally, we move on to the head-to-head -head and the S3M2 verdict. Now, between these two sides, they've only played each other once before, which was that previous fixture that Dortmund managed to win. Um, as it stands, they're both equal on points in Group F with four points, however, Dortmund are on top because of that head-to-head -head victory. Um, I think right now, um, it's it's difficult for me to say who's going to win this one because, in all honesty, maybe I'm a little biased. I'd like for Dortmund to win this one. 
Um, but I just think Newcastle's form is just a little bit better. But I don't want to rule out a draw here. In all honesty, I think a draw is very, very likely here. Um, I think the two sides will cancel each other out, so I'm going to go with a draw. Um, I think what's going to happen is Dortmund are going to plan. They're going to overplan, actually. Um, Dortmund have high expectations in the Champions League of themselves. They don't want to be dropping out to the Europa League, but they also don't want to be out of European competition at all, so they don't want to finish last. Um, but in the same vein, I can say that Newcastle are playing more fluid football simply because they're all enjoying themselves. Everybody's having a good time at Newcastle. They're truly um, epitomizing what it means to be playing football, which is something that a lot of teams forget when they're sticking to the plan. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen here. I think Dortmund, they're going to stick to the plan um, and Newcastle are going to enjoy themselves. And I think the two sides are just going to cancel each other out. So it might not seem like the most um, vibrant or the most exciting result, but I do think the two sides are going to cancel each other out. And I'm thinking it's it's going to be a draw with goals. So we're looking at a 1-1 one, one year or maybe even a 2-2. Two, two. But I just, I just can't see how the two of them edge each other out here. Hi, <laughs> uh, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Um, we really appreciate the watch time um, and the fact that you took some time out of your day to spend it with us talking about the sport that we all love. Um, if you enjoyed the content, why not, you know, drop a like down below or comment in the comment section. Um, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. And I mean, while you are here right now, have a look at some of our old videos too. Um, they should be appearing on the screen right now along with that subscribe button. So you know exactly what to do. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And have a great day out there. And we hope to see you again very, very soon. Thanks. Stay safe.